and we are live. Oh, good, not evening, <laughs> midday, or well, it's so unusual to say hello, hello, welcome. Good, good afternoon. I, it is, I it is afternoon already. I don't know. Or the, the German in me tends yeah. to say Mahlzeit. Yeah, <laughs> basically, but we have already a big variety of drivers in here. British, the Chuck Canadian is also in here, German, American. So different time zones, different time of day, but uh, we will be ready. I think for another great race day today and also yeah. spoiler <laughs> double header <laughs> for today <laughs> will be on later as well for another matchup but we will come to that later after the race I think exactly so and for for those of you um, just trying to catch up um, and are part of the CLR Discord. There is an extended match preview available in the CTC section as well, so you can read up on both teams a little bit also about the track. And uh, I'm just happy to be part of this again alongside <laughs> you, Jaeger. Yeah, and, you put uh, in quite some effort in the, the match day announcement and what's at stake and stuff a really nice read i must say yeah i mean it uh, it comes with the territory we need to <laughs> we need to offer some some insights rather than just offer the races um, people should be engaged and know what's at stake and uh, yeah. get some more information about the drivers the tracks the cars i think uh, that that just helps everybody get more Thanks. involved and, and that's it, yeah. Yeah, it generates interest, hopefully. And with, yeah, three rounds in the round robin stage, so we are on the second one. So, yeah, there's definitely some, some stakes involved now. What to do. Mm -hmm. And. So, so yeah. The chat is also. Yeah, we have a bit. some guys e in the chat. Evening, or uh, evening. E evening, <laughs> yeah. Evening. Yeah. <laughs> no, good hello. afternoon. Hello, hey. good afternoon. Hey, Sonic, hey, Ray, hey, Baz, hey, Shelty. Good to see you guys. So, looking into the stream and looking to see who's on track, we actually got our first free agent driver subbing in today for RA with Vines Racing. He uh, had to jump in on short notice uh, due to some some personal personal uh, yeah commitments. Um, I don't know who dropped out on the RA side, but uh, it was definitely nice to to be able to add someone to the free agency for the first time this season. So glad and to see that that also he works. Can, he can run with his main team as well. So he's a race yeah. style of driver. So. <laughs> But it would still be interesting to see how much practice he's actually had the chance to, to put in on such yeah. short notice. Leading the pack. So, a bit of a dark horse. <laughs> For now, huh? here. Yeah, Ray said Benny had to drop out on short notice. And uh, yeah, Baz, it is uh, Kyrus Community Racing, KCR, yeah. exactly. Just have a look at the liveries now from KCR in the green, pink, and black mm -hmm. today. Nice They're always very liveries. flashy with, the, <laughs> with their liveries, but they look brilliant. Yeah. Hey, Speedy. Yupe. Hey, hey. Hey, Yupe. Also, oh, chat is filling a bit at this early time of day on a Saturday. Good to see. And uh, I'll just announce that practice is now officially open. Yep. Uh, so we can start in about 10 minutes time with hey, everybody Hey, scary guy. Good morning up. to you. How are you? Hey, scary. And yeah, what can we expect today? So I, I think we, we, we stay at Sardinia for both races today. Is this correct? Exactly true. Yes. That is true. 
and as you can tell we are in the Renault Megane Trophy Group 4 car for race number one. Uh, little Group 4 machines here, not too fast, decent amount of aero and yeah we saw those cars in the first match day round in yes, the sure CLR did. versus ART matchup yeah. at Different Mount and the GTFU and GTFU MRO R2 had also the Megan in Interlagos uh, it yeah it doesn't look like a tough track mm. Shelty but but yeah there's um, it is difficult to perform overtakes here to be fair and there's especially one very tricky part, sort of fast-flowing mm. uh, right left-hander in the final sector. This could cause some some chaos probably here. Mm. Also, the wind will play a factor. Oh, wind! Yeah, don't, mm. don't tell me about that wind. Mm. So, like, especially with that chicane, and by the looks of it, they yeah. will have tailwind going through the chicane, so that could yeah. make life a bit more tricky. Yeah, I saw some practice lobbies with like five to six meters per second wind speeds. <laughs> so this is quite quite okay today with 2.5 for now in this lobby, but oh, this we yeah wind wind will definitely play a factor here in these in these races. Um, what do we see so far? We have still Vines racing with the fastest lap so far. And, mm -hmm. and going through the the others. Oh, uh, Bromi Bulldog also and Clark. He seemed to be even match. Couch Racer also right behind. Um, but of course, they are practicing. Um, qualifying yep. just right about it now. Is. So we'll That's see. So it uh, doesn't necessarily give away the race pace when everybody's trying to get comfortable when, com when qualifying will start in about seven minutes' time to have the best yeah. possible position. Um, and just some further information um, of to, to the two races today. Unfortunately, KCR um, had some. Now, yeah, last minute dropouts on there, and so they will be only able to sport four drivers for at least the first race today. Maybe they will get a fifth to the second, depends on, of course, uh, personal real life uh, engagements uh, that 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 had happened. Um, so we weren't able to postpone the race, and we will have, um, yeah, um, some some uh, accordances um, for KCR. So um, yeah. Ray from RA um, was kind enough to um, to offer up uh, the last two placed um, race asylum drivers in terms of awarded points to make it a little bit more evenly matched. So meaning that the last place, the last two placed RA drivers will only receive the minimum uh, amount of points to to keep it a bit or to make it a bit more fair. I think that uh, is, a, is a great gesture well, great, great on the race yeah. science, uh, science yeah. side. Big thank you um, from 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 our organizational side um, to Ray and Race Asylum uh, for for being so forthcoming um, and hopefully this will also um, give us uh, a bit more of yep. a yeah even. Exactly, Even yeah. And match you today, pay also yeah. in the chat, great sportsmanship there from our A, yeah, definitely, yeah, that's, that's the spirit we want to see also here. That's really, really nice to have. And yeah, coming closer towards qualifying, so I'm riding with Clarky now and um, we'll do a quick lap guide, I guess. Yeah. And so. I just needed this to reload your stream and now I have my stream. commercial, is, yeah, commercial, commercial before yeah. I get the full screen. Yeah. So here we are. I need to get paid. So. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. As well you should. As well As, you should. Uh, no. Just kidding here. Yeah. All right. So now Clarky will... This is crucial for lap time as well. You're coming out of the final turn. It's a full throttle part till T1. 
is all flat out now. And now the lap will begin, so the long start finish straight here. Uh, yeah, UP, I did make a little bit of money once, but since then, <laughs> it's not that much. So coming into the break is sort of about the 100, just after that, into mm -hmm. the left-hander, early on the throttle to use all that momentum, using the speed for mm -hmm. the next thing flat out here. Now, and as you can see, they are revving the hell really, out of the yeah, cars, the so again, staying yeah. in fifth, fifth gear. So Not going into six, going down the straight. Clip the apex here early on the throttle, and now another crucial part here, the the church corner. <laughs> it's now so you need to be close to the apex on the left-hand side, maybe touch that concrete on the inside and early on the throttle to power out the uphill section now. This is very crucial for a good lap time. Here, also somewhere so where we might see some slipstream in qualifying. Yeah. Could be, yeah. Chapel corners, okay, it could be the chapel corner as well. <laughs> <laughs> so again, here the first of the slow corners here of the long straight. And then the, the technical section of the track here with... This one is still flat, but then going into the right and then maybe a little lift, a little break. Oh, and then Clark, he just showed us what not to do. Run wide there. <laughs> Out of this chicane, but this this, this chicane is very tricky, especially yeah. when the wind changes the direction. And then, yeah, again the final corner, heartbreaking zone early on the throttle. And yeah, that's basically a lap around here. So you saw that the track is is quite wide, but but still it's it's hard to to go side by side through. Mm -hmm. I think we just we just track. saw the the wind actually take out Clarky a bit going into yep. the exit Could of that be. chicane, yeah. uh, just and picked up a little bit. It and, picked up, uh, it picked up, yeah definitely, it's 3.9 now and it's increasing. <laughs> so, and just for information, for those of you who have not been watching the first round um, in terms of our regulations so each driver of course uh, has to do a mandatory pit stop between minutes 10 and 20 for each race and each driver needs to use all of the available racing compounds um, throughout um, over the course of both races so of course we have the softs the mediums and the hards available and drivers can of course choose um, how to use their tire compounds at will and of course that will also play a bit into the strategy also each driver has two two sets of each compound available for both races uh, best the races are 30 minutes each with a short qualifying and yeah we have a little bit of a tweak in there as well so the drivers will start with not 100% fuel for the race I think it's 50% or something like that mm -hmm, exactly so also you have to look after tires and fuel a little bit and also bear in mind that the pit stop window is between race minute 10 and 20 so those are basically the regulations for mm -hmm. this one. Yeah, as so mentioned, um, you have you have to pick up at some point the hard tires. I know this is not the preferred tire compound for all of the drivers, but you have to use them here. So and it's also yeah, which which car is better on the hards? Probably on which combination? So kind of tactics involved there as well and one thing to mention um, there is no bump drafting allowed in this series so you can use slipstream but no no bump drafting here and light damage is enabled yep. so light damage. there will of course always be the risk when you bump draft that you could get some damage um, but of course in terms of the overall racing etiquette yeah. we want to prohibit bump drafting and keep it as clean as possible yep and then it's it's bop no tuning so make it mm -hmm. up. so Rain, even looks like we're going to we're good to go in terms we're of qualifying yep ears has asked 
the lobby if they are ready, and it, it looks seems like that we are. And here we go. Nothing to be nervous, Ray. No, the boys will have it probably. Yeah. So. All right. So this is then qualifying. Best of luck, everybody. So, just have a quick look. Everyone is out of the pits now, okay. So, we don't have cars stuck in the pit line, which we had, I think, twice now in these lobbies. So, it's... it's you can, you can leave the pits and then re-enter and then you should be able to get out but you have to know it <laughs> exactly and the qualifying time in total is five minutes so if everybody gets out accordingly we're looking at two flying laps for the back markers as well to get through without any problems so hopefully this will be a very close <coughs> Qualifying right to the last corner. Let's see yeah, how everybody gets through it. Three, four race asylum drivers, then two KCR drivers on track, then it's race asylum, race asylum, and then KCR at the back. So, yeah, maybe some will opt for a slipstream qualifying here. I'm not really sure you would probably gain a little bit on the straight but during the twisty parts the technical parts I'm not so sure if dirty air is really that strong in the group force well, we have um, faster cars around this track coming up during the match days here and this will definitely be a factor yeah, now King Yours on his first flying lap, followed by Clarky. So, and what we're looking for are probably low 49s, high 48s, when we take practice into account. Yep. But then so. there's always like practice and quali are two <laughs> different <You know> it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of things I can tell you yeah, from, from experience here. It was like king, king of practice. And then when it comes down to qualifying and and you you know yeah you have like a limited time only five minutes so basically two flying laps and what what to do go for the banker lap in the first one then push on the second one or just like go flat out yeah. from the right from the get-go i don't know it's always like yeah, it's always a bit of a, a compromise with oneself what to do um, and of course, look at, looking at the wind, the wind has changed again. Yeah. Uh, so that also will factor in if you we practiced uh, with tailwind and now have headwind or sidewind. That of course changes up your braking points and also the rhythm a, a little bit. So it's going to be interesting to see where we land. Uh, but your lap so far is looking clean, looking good. It does. Um, yeah. See. I think Clarky he closed the gap to King Yersi a little bit, so I think yeah. Clarky will be could be the one to watch today. You see, he's a Group Four monster. He is a really, really fast driver here from Race Asylum. Uh, okay, so, we'll see. One forty-eight eight. And oh, look at that! Oh, look One at that. thousandth of a second. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> That is okay. amazing. We what a start to qualifying. How about that? Bulldog P3 for KCR. Lions Racing P4 mm -hmm. ahead of Ishmael. Rabbit, so the times are in. Now. And. Good afternoon, Urban. Going. So I'm glad to see all the communities almost represented here today in chat. It's e great yeah. to see. Yeah, exactly. Also, of yeah, course, uh, trying to to get that sneak peek. Yeah, but into the we others. we can't turn off slip in quali like in the GTWS races. This is a limitation in the lobbies, so it is real slipstream. Yeah, and and Bulldog here, really, ah, uh, he's pushing like he's 
will, it, will, it, will it get past here for an overtake? Yeah. It looks like it, yeah. It yes, clearly overspeed here. Yeah. So. I'm practicing for the race already. So you yeah. could see with a good run out of that <laughs> chapel or church corner, whatever, uh, up, up the hill, and then slipstream, will definitely, and he's purple. Bulldog is Interesting. Purple. So that slipstream really came into effect, ish, unintentionally <laughs> helping out Team KCR, so it seems. But of course, keeping it fair, that's how yeah. we want to, see, want to see it. Let's see, though, I will stay with so Bulldog here for, for this I'll lap. I'll be on King Ears and Clarky. So King Ears did not improve. What about Clarky? Nope. So oh, let's see what Bulldog, Bulldog can do. Could do can... I don't think. It's gonna be close. Of... No, oh, almost. Improved, but... but nice almost. to see zero point ones. Top three separated here. Very close qualifying indeed at the top. Also, Vines Racing, Rabbit, Ishmael. Also very close. Bad Dog P7 for now. If Couch Racer, Monty, and Shadow Step. Yes. So Shadow Step seemed to have had a couple of issues going through the chicane, from what he I can tell. A, yeah, his first lap wasn't the best, but he yeah. could still improve. No, I don't think he's already 148. No, he's, yeah, he's had some damage also. Ah, uh, yeah, look, so. look at that. Yeah, yeah, he's had damage. So he will stop P10 for this one. All right. All right. So we will have a short break. We have to call it a couple of minutes, maybe two, three minutes, so everybody can catch their breath. And uh, after that, we will have our first race of the day. Yep. Going Gonna to be on the way. Bring up the uh, quality results here for you in the stream. So I have this nice little overlay here. So yeah, King Years <laughs> 0 0.001 ahead of Clarky, but that is, yeah, it is already five points scored for Race Asylum here with that pole position. And yeah, that reminds me to get my Excel sheet ready. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so then, yeah, Bulldog P3 first of the KCR drivers, then it's the rest of Race Asylum with Vines, Webbit, Ishmael, and Bad Dog. And then we might see a little bit of teamwork from the KCR guys, Couch Racer P8. Monty and Shadow at the back. Um, why only 10? Because KCR had unfortunately two dropouts last minute or so. So maybe they will find some reserve drivers for race number two, but for now it is unfortunately just four KCR drivers. And then, yeah, so now the interesting part will also be this, the tire strategies, as mentioned. So all three tire components have to be used throughout both races. And we'll see what the travels will go for in this one. We could, we could see some travels starting on the hearts. Some might try to run away on the softs. Will the mediums be used in the Megane, or will it be used in the second race? Yeah. I have no clue. <laughs> that's, Going that's, to be interesting. That's interesting well, what, what, what we already saw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ish, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we're South, South African. South African. South African. Definitely South African, yeah. <laughs> but to be fair, South Africa is in the same time zone as Germany. So... That would actually work from a time uh, perspective. UK, we have four different CTC steward accounts, just in case. Uh, all right. So, but well, it's kind of interesting how teams will adapt uh, compared to the to the first match that they had. I mean, they have okay. some experience now with uh, the the tire strategies and and how the races shape up. And of course, they are were all able to see their opponents uh, and how they played um, their, their matches accordingly in the first round. So, going to be interesting to see 
um, if uh, they're going to be mixed up yeah. strategies or everybody will be running the same throughout the teams. It so is. let's okay. see how that sure. comes into play. Just have the event settings on screen now to see. So we have time wear times four, fuel consumption times three, and initial fuel 50 liters. So that's interesting. Everything should be standard here. Weak short cut penalties here. And, and looks like we're good to go. Looks like, yeah. Should go. So good luck to all the drivers. And I think just started. Well, if so, fingers crossed the replay function will work. We see the grid, we see the lights. And Three, here we four, go. Five red lights. We hear the cars revving, the lights are out, and off we go. King Yours with a good start. Bulldog with a not so good start. He dropped two positions, I think, already. Here. Mm, and but first T1 time. Is T1 is crucial. Yeah, it's always crucial. But yeah, Bulldog, he dropped further behind. Even P6 now for him. So five races are the drivers at the front. Uh, King Yours stayed ahead of Clarky, mm. Webbit Vines, and Ishmael. Then we have. Everybody Bulldog came through better. clean. That's good for this one. Yeah. So, but I, and I say we just cycle through the field, see what tires they will be using. King Ears on the softs. Clarkies on the softs. Webber is on the softs. Vines Racing is on the softs. So, Race Asylum opting for the softs here. Ishmael going for the hards. All right. So, Ish and is the odd one out. Bulldog is also using the softs here. So Bulldog, he should try to get past Ishmael here with the tire advantage. Looking around the outside here, Ishmael, nah. now he's there side by side and Bulldog with the better line for the right left hander now. Oh, Ishmael is still there, no. Oh, Bulldog is past. So we are looking at the tires. Bad Dog yeah. is also on the softs. Couch racer mediums, okay. Monty on the hearts and Shadow Step also using the hard tires for now. So very interesting. Interesting mixture here with soft hearts and one using the mediums. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna try to catch up on my XLC sheet, so I have everybody sorted accordingly. Sorted. Yeah. So for now, top four race asylum all on the softs. Top three running close to each other. I also think Wines is just within slipstream here, 1.1 seconds, so will be a, a tough Brumi challenge. We'll be trying to close that gap. Yep, he's clearly on the move here after the the poor start where he dropped three positions. Now he's on the move again into the slipstream here. And you can also lines. tell that Ish is really struggling on the hearts, but that was to be expected. But then he has them out of his way and can focus exactly. on softs and mediums for the rest of the race day. But since the physics update, tire model, tire temperatures, it is a thing. So tires need some time to warm up, and especially the hearts. And we see here just Vines racing and Bulldog. A little bit of contact here, not sure if we see some, oh. or if this was lag or not. Was that Vines caught it, didn't spin there but oh, lost goodness. the position to Bad Dog and Bulldog for now. Yeah, and fortunately also no damage for Vines, so game on. Game on. Yeah, it was a good save here definitely. Um, so now Kiers and Clarky one point uh, zero point five seconds 
separated and the gap to Webbit 1.6. So top two seem to be pulling away a little bit. Mm -hmm. but not, of course not too bad for Asa Salomir. Have the so. advantage of now taking that slipstream and just working together. Yep. So, of course, uh, this is a team championship and not a driver's championship. So, of course, there might be internal bragging rights as to who wins this race. <laughs> um, but they will be not battling it out on nope. track. I think so. Yeah, Ishmael P8 now on the hearts. Uh, he will probably have a close look at the timer. When does this 10 minute mark arrive so he can get rid of those hard tires uh, same would will be for going for monty and for shadow step and i guess yep. cow tracer will also be trying to get rid of those mediums as soon as possible as well um, or he will use mediums and hearts and have soft softs available for the second one it would also knows? of course be a possibility yeah. and so, yeah. clocky just grab p1 from king ears so Don't think that they might lost be time. because of slipstream, yep. or did they actually lose time? I don't okay. think, uh, Webbit, yes, yeah, still 1.8, 1.9 seconds behind, so the gap to Webbit didn't come down. So probably just, yeah, slipstream, or or maybe they're in chat and Clarky is telling King is, he seems he's faster, I don't know. There's, oh, there's definitely going to be some chat going on in the background. Yeah. Would imagine. They are in chat together, okay? So yeah, then this would make sense probably if you if you see if you have the better run. So. Oh, of course this is also where experience comes into play. They are used to driving with one another against one another. Yeah. Uh, in in countless Race Asylum and other community series, and of course, doing a lot of TVT events as well. So, it is. And they are going uh, to use every bit of advantage yeah, and, and a bit of knowledge that they have. And having a, a common group, party chat, whatever, this is easy thing to do, and you could, you are allowed to use all this stuff in the race. So. Definitely. So, so yeah, it looks like we have not much battling going on in the, in the first part. Okay. So it's still a bit of close oh, yeah. racing between so, Bad Dog and Vines racing, but yeah, teammates. Right. Broom Bulldog still trying to close the gap. Oh, yeah. Definitely coming into a rhythm and looking at the lap times. He is a bit quicker than, than Wabbit. So that gap is coming down ever so slightly. And maybe in a lap or two he will have the opportunity to attack and go for that podium. It is, yep. Yeah. But you can definitely see how Slipstream is taking effect yeah. into those lap times. So the top two are running a second quicker than then P3, simply by just supporting each other, not taking away from one another. Not one another, and with the dirt, with the clean air, and no slipstream, you immediately lose a lot of time on the straights. So, looks like I think we will have a battle for P3 coming yep. up. 1.5, now the gap, and I think it's always easier to hunt than to defend and definitely bulldog has the target right in front of him uh, looking so. at the tires okay so soft should last for at least 10 more minutes so they could use the maximum allowed time yeah, fuel is also yeah. looking looking good. Although look at, looking at fuel, maybe not not up to 20 minutes. I, I reckon fuel would be about 15, 16 minutes maximum, depending on how good you can fuel save. Yeah, just about. You now we started with 50. Now about 25%. 25%. Uh, 10 laps. Uh, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, 10 laps should be good. But I think yeah. the tires would actually last longer than, than 10 laps. It's difficult to tell these days how, how long yeah. the tires will actually <laughs> last. True. So it's really car and track dependent more than ever, I think. And now, Bulldog 1.2. Well, he has a, had a good run here onto the straight 1.2, 1.1 into the braking zone and clean exit <laughs> looks like it <laughs> the weather has improved also a bit <laughs> yeah <laughs> you think yeah <laughs> yeah clouds seem to go away now maybe a track temperature increases here as well this could also help with getting better faster lap times mm -hmm. and in the tires this should be warmed up right now this should have maximum grip for now and yeah bulldog now one point is now under one second so an attack might be imminent um yeah, i don't think this lap but zone. maybe maybe yeah into into t1 he could be oh. very close to rabbit here I mean, we we both we both know that if you have someone hunting you down going into that chicane, which is now coming yeah. up, it is and so difficult to to get the maximum out of that exit yeah. if you are looking into your rearview mirror. So and the gate window is open now, effect. so we could see the first drivers visiting their pit crew now. I don't expect the soft runners to pit, but maybe car tracer Ishmael. So from P7, the drivers could think about doing the pit stop now. <laughs> so, Rabbit is wobbling, yeah, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if we can we'll get get an attack. Yeah, yeah, Bulldog with a great run. Yeah, he's finish. really close. So maybe even too close now. Now I think this looks like a perfect, perfect position now. So opting going for, for the, the outside, outside overtake. Yep. Yeah, Couch Racer definitely. Zone. And rid of Wabbit the will, will hang it around the outside. Yep, yeah, this is a nice corner to do outside overtakes your T1 with a little banking. And but Wabbit text. did did defend a bit, but of yeah. course he yeah. saw that Rumble that was was the quicker one yeah. going into and out of yeah. the corner. So yeah, Monty also in the pits, Ishmael in the pits, and I assume oh Shadow Step had a little off. I think he will get rid of the hard tires as well after that yeah i think so as well so let's see what the head runners are changing on to so ishmael onto the softs cow tracer onto the south softs monty also onto the softs and okay. shadow steps st stayed out He's with his hearts okay Cloud King King years, they're getting faster and faster. Looks of it very consistent lap times at least. Low 49s, and I just saw the purple sector 2 for King years. Yeah, he's still abusing Clarky's slipstream. <laughs> but of course, that that purple sector can, of course, always be due to slipstream, and in the corners, <laughs> he might lose a little yeah. bit. But we'll see how this lap ends, if he can improve on his fastest time. Uh, <laughs> will it be quicker? Yeah, no, White Tiger, just... yeah, it would, it, would, it would be nice to see Kingi and Clarky fight it, but <laughs> I don't think this will happen. <laughs> so, yeah, 59-0 now, and yeah, for King years, it's a very, it's probably a bit like time trying with having a ghost in front of him, and Clarky is... Uh, a very good ghost to have in front of you. Oh, the, the gap to Bulldog, 6.8 seconds already. So those two guys are really flying. And it's so tough to, to catch up when you're on your own. Even it is, though yeah. you have the pace, as we know, from Bulldog has. Yep. 49.5 as his personal best, so half a second off. 
And look at that, new fastest lap for King Years. And, but also Bulldog using a little bit of more fuel than, than Rabbit here. The indicator is already starting to flash for Bulldog. Mm, Rabbit. Probably one more lap maximum. If he chooses to, yeah. to do it, of course he can now uh, just come in. And it will be interesting to see what the soft runners will change on to. Mm -hmm. I mean, presumptionally they will be taking on a harder compound and saving that soft set of tires for the second race. Uh, I would do the exact same thing here. Yeah. So both King Ears and Clarky staying out. Same goes for Bulldog and Rabbit, but Rabbit is not letting Bulldog here run away. No. With it. And Vines has gotten past Bad Dog. Yep. So, and they are also doing another lap. But it will be and interesting to see. As you can see, Bad Dog's fuel is also at the bottom end. So, I mean, we don't have any indicators no. how much percent that actually is which would be nice, um, but it's always um, a bit of tension in the air <laughs> when <is>. that fuel <laughs> meter hits yeah. the red, and you still have a lap to go, so it's going to be interesting. Ishmael is still three seconds behind Couch Racer, so a little bit yeah. surprising. Uh, Ishmael usually both on the softs. Fast one, both yeah. on the softs now, yeah. Yeah, but Couch Racer is also very quick. Yeah, definitely. Um, so he will be doing everything in his power to, to keep that position and maybe even close the gap to Bad Dog to maybe have a chance uh, when the when the pit stop for Bad Dog is taking place to attack. Yeah. So it will be interesting to see. Pit loss is about 35 seconds. 35? Whoa. Yeah, so it is bigger than expected. So same for the top two King Ears. A bit better on fuel compared to Clarky. I think King Ears should easily go for another lap. Not so sure about Clarky here. So shadow step in the pits. And yep. Clarky into the pits. King Ears going for one more. And on fuel. Yeah. Of course Bulldog we... probably also, yeah, he will head into the pits. Rabbit going for another lap as well here. So King Ears mm -hmm. and Rabbit. A bit of so. field saving here. So the shadow and has also taken on the hearts. And yeah, looking at the timer, 16 minutes, 50 seconds in, so they don't run here for a late stop. No, they will be running, going into this lap will be before the 20 minutes mark, so everything should be fine according to the pit stop window. And look at that, Clarky did not change tires. He's remaining on the softs, which of course is perfectly legal. Very interesting. So wow. they must have thought this through. <laughs> yeah, like I said. So, but that also in turn means that he needs to run the mediums and the hards, and the hards in is... race two. So yeah. very interesting uh, decision so to no... not change tires at all. Yeah, no soft tires for race number two, so I'm I'm not mm -hmm. too sure if this is the best mm -hmm. strategy here. Was it well, was it it could be a mistake as well, we don't know. Yeah, exactly. We don't know, but he definitely did not change tires. Brumi switched to the mediums. Yep, he's on the mediums, yeah. So. A bad dog, he was also in the in the pits and didn't change tires as well, so uh, I'm a bit uh -huh. confused. So no, maybe, right, so maybe, so maybe, it's, maybe it's knows something tactics. that we don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try and <laughs> squeeze out every bit of second that they have. Yeah, so let's see what King Ears does. If he decides to also stay on the softs, his front right and rear right aren't yeah. looking Rub that good in comparison. Rabbit into the pits. Vines racing also. Mm -hmm. So, very pits. interesting what's going on here. Yep. So but it's also good to see that so uh, King teams is are taking... Changing. King is just changing tires. <laughs> taking <laughs> everything into account. Uh, the yep. rules give them. So at some point, you might yeah, split 
the strategies. Yeah. So, and as we can see, Clark now, house. of course, yeah. has a bigger advantage um, and probably will yeah. run away with it now. But it's securing the victory probably here for for Clarky and King is yeah. playing Looks like, like yeah. a wingman then in case of Bulldog is catching. He's on the mediums. Webbit is also on the hearts. So Bulldog has to get past Webbit and King is on the hearts if he... He is clearly on the fast tire compound. Yeah, and from looking from from the you know, the time left, he probably will have a chance to catch King Ears if he can get by Wabbit as soon as possible. Yep, he's going for that looking around. No, the inside this is the left hander up there. And he will make it stick. Having the run. Good run here as well. Uh, so, so very interesting how this is shaping up. Yep, and now yep. he will hunt down King Ears. 9.5 seconds. And I think the difference between the softs or the medium tires and the hard tires could actually come into play here. Yeah, could be. If yeah. he can stay consistent and um, yeah, keep those little small errors at bay. Oh, yeah, interesting, it's very interesting. Ishmael closed the gap a little bit. It's just under two seconds now to Couch Racer, so he's definitely gaining. But the interesting part will be now Bulldog, uh, seven seconds behind King Ears and ten minutes to go. Yeah, uh, Ray mentioned in the chat pit window is closed. I think everyone did mm -hmm. their yeah. mandatory pit stop. Exactly. So some decided to change tires, some didn't. Everybody you can still to visit your pits. All good. It's not a penalty if you get outside the window. But and of course that would cost a, a lot of yeah, time. Yeah, with the 30 plus seconds pit loss. And, lo and look at that, the gap pulled up to King Ears 4 seconds now. So yes. there might have been a mistake from Kinger's part, looking yeah, at yeah, his King's lap time. 11, 12 seconds behind Clark. Yeah, hard tires, maybe not that easy to drive. And yeah. uh, maybe, uh, yes, a smart move for, for Clark here to get the maximum points out of race number one and then be like the best teammate you can probably have on the slower <laughs> compounds for race number two. Uh, yeah, sacrifice sure. your, own, your own results. Yeah. yeah, but hey, this is team versus team. You, this is the interesting part in it. And we see uh, in the background Rabbit and Vines racing, going side by side yeah. now. And of course Vines has the soft zone. tires, so he should have the advantage into the oh, braking yeah. zone. Exactly, Vines did also stay on the softs, yeah. yeah. And, and Bad Dog will probably also be the next one to get past Wabbit. Yeah. So it's definitely the worn soft tires faster than fresh hearts. Oh, and that also puts Cow Tracer back into play to, to gain a position because he will be able to attack Wabbit as well with the tire remaining and with the soft tire advantage. So tr shaping up very interesting. Interesting, yeah, and just yeah. approaching the final seven minutes of this race, no, number one here. So. Bulldog still on the hunt, 3.5 seconds, so the the big gain, yeah, this was probably a mistake from King Ears there, where he lost two seconds in one lap. Now it's more about between mediums and, and hearts, shouldn't be more than one second usually difference, but yeah, Bulldog keeping up that pace, he could be close to King Ears. For the final final two laps, probably here. Oh. <coughs> well, have a look at at Rabbit. Fun. He's still staying with that dog for now. This is good for him on the hard tires. Yeah, he will definitely try to take advantage of his teammate's slip for as yeah. long as possible. Oh, yeah. But Couch Racer is closing that gap. Six seconds, so. and the gap to Ishmael also stays about those two seconds so they have similar pace around this combination yeah. by the looks of it and 
Monty Some and Shadow at the back. Some yeah. shaping up. So they are grooving, getting into the groove here probably. A bit too late here at the back. But maybe it helps to gain track knowledge for race number two. See so the back, the gap now, Clarky, 14.8 seconds to King Ears, so this soft versus hard tire is a massive, massive difference in pace. Yeah, around about two Oh, Bulldog, seconds. Bulldog made a mistake, he dropped behind Vine's oh, no. racing. How did that happen? Just, just Probably the chicane, ahead. eh? Yep, when I was switching to him, he was in the final sector. So a little, mm -hmm. little mistake here right now. Mm -hmm. Bad dog, dog will be attacking with the softs, Medium but Bruni will be defending. Yeah. So, good clean defending. Of course it's not over yet. No. Could be... Yeah, Bad Dog looking for the inside. No. Yeah, but I think Brumbo Bulldog will try to do everything in his power <laughs> to maintain keep. that position. Yep. And so, but yeah, it will be tough for Bulldog here to gain on, yeah. on Vines racing as well. So Bad Dog now with the run. Yep. Coming out of Chapel. Going on board with Bata. Bad dog here now. He's looking early. Nope. Not really going for the move. Maybe just trying to scare Bulldog here into a mistake. Uh -huh. So here comes the next crucial bit of this track. Heading up to the sh yeah, the, one of the sh many chicane of deaths <laughs> that we have in yep. the game. It's not that deadly as other chicanes, but still a difficult. One well, it can be at right. times, depending <laughs> on how you take it. I've had my experiences there, my personal <laughs> off, many times over. Okay, so Bulldog stays ahead of Bad Dog here for now. And also gained a little bit on Vines Racing here. And just goes to show how Go. quick of a driver he is. Yeah. I'll go to Couch Racer here, so the gap to Rabbit 3.1 seconds, so he's definitely catching Rabbit here, and mm -hmm. and look at that, Ishmael 1.3 seconds, so he gained yep. also. At the same time, so a little <laughs> late race drama building up in the back. Okay. Arden, that's a nice one, the Sweeper of Doom. All right, I like that. Nice one, Arden. Hey. No, I'm, I'm afraid Kirby is not in chat, at least I haven't seen him yet. He hasn't made himself aware. Yeah, so if he is there, please say hi, Kirith. <laughs> Alright, so 2.6, it is coming down, it is coming down, yep. Oh, there was a little tap on the barrier there for Coach Racer. This gives Ishmael the opportunity to get into the slipstream now, especially the uphill part here. Gap now under one second. So instead of looking ahead, Couch Racer might use his mirrors. Yeah. There is the Turkish delight coming up in the back, <laughs> getting bigger and sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> but then I think Rabbit just made a mistake. 1.5 seconds, 1.3 seconds. Oh, we have yeah. three cars now. Yeah, I mean, tire wear can also start uh, coming into effect. Well, I think it's just Rabbit on the hearts. With yeah, uh, true. Not, not that, that comfortable. So, and of course, we have Shadow Step, the back marker for KCR. He's also, of course, going to play a little role. Just got lapped by, by Brumi. Now, Bad Dog needs to find his way past. But from what I've seen so far, yeah, very yeah. clean racing from Shadow Step. So, Blue props flex. out to you, my yeah. friend. And for here we go. Couch Racer 
point seven, point six. Coming down, we might have to run uphill on Rabbit here. The better traction out of this corner, or he will be close to Chapel. Or very close, maybe. Yeah, taking oh, the wider good. line, looking yeah, for the cutback here. Inside, oh, there was oh. A, a bit of contact. Oh no. Oh, I think Wabbit lost it on the outside. Yeah, it lo really looks like yeah, Wabbit had a little, little wiggle there and little tap from the inside. The At least on the, on the spectator yeah. mode, it looked like that. Could also we never be know what the drivers are seeing these lag. days due yeah. to lag, yeah. and yeah. of course the the overall state of lobbies. So hopefully that was all clean. But we are just <laughs> arrived at the final minute. Just. 15 seconds to go. Clarky will do the extra lap. Yep. I think he's the only one to get the extra lap. Yep. In. Looks like it. So King Ears so will. Clarky will have P2. Have this King Ears P2. Vines racing P3 and Bulldog he caught up. Two Vines, 1.2 seconds, but it's not, not enough. Going to be enough. So King Ears P2, Vines racing P3, Bulldog P4. Bad Dog P5, Couch Racer P6, he stays ahead of Ish. Yep. Yep. Finish in P7. Rabbit, Rabbit P8. P8. And we have Monty. Monty and Shadow Step. P9, Shadow, P10. and and we can. And as we already said, Glocky. Ishmael and Wabbit will be counted as P11 and P12 in accordance with what we decided ahead of the race to make it a little bit more even Steven. And that of course will also come into play. Uh, congratulations. Yep. Uh, one, two, three. To it's, st it's still a one, two, three for races. Adam. You're totally yes. right. That's it. And Clarky, what a drive. I mean, interesting strategy to stay on the softs, not, not changing tires here. Well, it will be interesting to see how that will affect him in the second race. Mm -hmm. Fastest lap goes to King Ears. Those are, of course, five extra points as well. So we have pole position and fastest lap for Race Asylum as well. This looks like a big lead already after race number one with the top three finishing also for Race Asylum. But it's still a race to go. You never know what can happen. And here he comes, Clarky crossing the line. And here we go. And we should also sh shout out to Vines Racing for stepping in and yeah. scoring the podium. That was Definitely. also really yeah. done. So, all right. Here's all your right. race so result. I'll just announce the five, five, five minute break. Yeah. Right. Short break. As you saw. Lobby reset. Lucky King Ears, Vines racing the top three positions, then Bulldog, who definitely had the pace to challenge uh, King Ears, I think, after a, a bad start, fought back, and then oh, I think one little oopsie there for Bulldog. So then Bad Dog and Couch Racer taking the next positions here. Ish and Webbit, but as you heard from Soul, they will be placed at the back. And Monty and Shadow Step. They will be promoted to P. No, they will stay in P9 and P10, but. Yeah, exactly. We, there we, will not be any promotions, we'll just take away the, the points, points for Ishmael and Wabbit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. short break then we have the reset and um what car will be exactly so we're race? staying in in sardinia road track a but we will have a new car available okay. with the ford focus group b rally car oh. so it's going to be interesting how that car behaves uh, so we're not making it easy for the drivers uh, that's uh, the premiere for this car in the series uh, I, I exactly believe. 
so far nobody has dared to touch it um, but uh, I'm looking forward to see how it behaves on track how the tires behave how the fuel behaves and of course will it be more rally style driving or will it be more the way we saw it like a, like a touring car journey so that's also um, going to be interesting yeah um, you you can actually adjust the um, I think where the, where the power goes from the four wheel drive more towards the front or the is back. Is that enabled or spot yeah. on? I, oh, it is it is spot, but I think it's you can you can do this in, in this car. It's it's not a tuning option okay, classified by the, by, the, by the game, so you can have the uh, yeah the uh, I know what it's called the torque diff split or whatever something you can you can adjust it to have it more mm -hmm. rewards or i'm not sure if this does make any difference but i usually when i drive on the road with these cars i go towards the front yeah. a bit more to have more traction but All right, right, so, so we have Quali will be starting at 10 past the hour. And then can go. No, I don't want to enter the race. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have a look at the cars. <laughs> so that was Group B cars. Very different animal. They uh, have less less downforce compared to the group first but a bit more top speed and overall it's a, it's a fun car to drive and okay i haven't tried it with a new physics to be fair shalty so don't know but when i was giving a uh, test run whoops this looked a bit weird yeah. for the series uh, this was definitely the car that was yeah very unusual to drive so a little bit more lag i think now in the lobby i'll just jump in Spectate on my phone. I can't see it looks from my point of view. Yeah. Or maybe just because the cars are a little bit more jumpy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not so sure about that, but yeah. So, but definitely going to be fun to see the rally cars in action for the first time. Yeah. Also. And Imagine doing racing hearts on those on those machines. Oh Yeah, and we, we know that the <laughs> couple of drivers has, still has to need to it. need to run the hearts. So going through each and every driver just to catch you up. So uh. Broom Broomy still needs to do the hearts. Yeah. Monty needs to do them. Is that correct? Do the mediums? Or did he do the mediums already? No, I think he still needs to do the mediums. Yeah. Then Cow Tracer needs to do the hearts. Uh, Shadow Step needs to do the mediums. Ish needs to do the mediums. Ears needs to do the mediums. Clarky needs to do both mediums and hearts. Wabbit still needs to do the mediums. And Bad Dog and Vines both also need to do mediums and hearts. So, looks like uh, maybe the overall strategy from race design was to concentrate on race A to get maximum points yep and uh, to basically see what they can do in race B yeah exactly so that was a, that was a, something like we need to have a big jump for this car on the straight oh that should, would be yeah or we should cool. have like some <laughs> some Jim Carla elements to it like. yeah <laughs> some rally crossing elements to it that would be you're absolutely right Shelty that would, that would really spice things up Maybe maybe at some point in the future, PD will give us a track <laughs> editor. Yep. To do that. Track mania style. Ooh, ah, good why? days. Or, or <laughs> why for the older now? ones, for for the older generation in chat, 4D sports driving on MS DOS was was the 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 absolute 
uber racing game back in the day i mean that's almost 30 years ago god i'm old but that was so much fun <laughs> building so tracks and just question in the question in the chat what was the score for yeah just uh one? just uh, looking at the, at, the, at the final score after match well, let's see um well it's uh lo looking fairly good for Team Race Asylum, so it's currently stands are 74 to 15. Is the well, no, sorry, 84 to 15 actually. The 10 extra points, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that of course probably already has let them win this match because only four drivers are able to get into the points. Um, also, also interesting to see that that. Drivers are oh we have T sixty six joining for KCR so we have a brilliant fifth driver. that's good it's so nice there is a fifth driver that makes it a little bit more interesting yeah, I was just trying to say awesome. that, that some drivers are using the warm up to run the hard tires we are not not focus on the qualifying yeah, looks like it. Just to get get up to speed. Get exactly, Shelty. C64 for the win. Exactly, the OG. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> I know it. Yeah. I played it a lot. You know it. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. So this classifies us as boomers totally. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, and nobody said okay, boomer to me. So that's that's all right. I can, I can totally live with that. So just have a little look at the lap time. So yeah, they're faster than the group fours. Six, seven seconds. Well, amazing. I think that they're so much quicker, but then again, they probably have more top end, more power available. <laughs> Real to games them. come on tape, exactly, yeah good old times where you had to change your tape when <laughs> at advancing <laughs> the game oh, yeah yeah type it in commands like load quotes name of the game ah yeah it's really <laughs> showing our age yeah <laughs> <laughs> but we're like fine wine, Jaeger. Uh, are we? I hope so. I <laughs> tend to think so. Oh, Pete, <laughs> that is crazy. Really, you. Uh, that was too early for me. This this stuff, but I <laughs> machine code here. <laughs> Just, just accordingly. So, so um, with T sixty six now joining, and I think this is something that we also need to take into account. He, of course, cannot run all three compounds um, due to him missing the first race. Um, so uh, we will get some leeway here. So he will only need to run the mediums and the softs for this race. And not the hearts. Okay, so, so I'll just enter that put into it, chat. Into chat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, and a scary guy. Hmm. Interesting idea. Of the the binary incoming for Sol and myself. We'll have a talk maybe later up to see. <laughs> oh, he's not oh, driving. He's okay. He's not driving. Okay. 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 Gotcha. So that in turn, of course, changes everything. So we don't need to <laughs> enter back, that in in, back in to chat. Normal. <laughs> Back to normal, so we're starting soon. We're our second quali. So he would just be one looking on, supporting his teammates. Still good for him to show. Thank you for that. And best of luck, everybody, for race number two. Yep. Who's, who is in the Megan? What? 
Somebody's in the mega. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Bad dog. <laughs> Bad dog was in the mega. I hope you changed this car. <laughs> yeah, looks like it though. No, he's still. He's still. Yeah, he's not not ticked in. Yeah, I think uh, King Ears has it sorted. Uh, there. there we go. Yeah. There we, we go. go. Now we're ready to yeah, go. <laughs> it's, it's in focus. That can happen. Yeah, no uh, this is like with, with open lobby settings, like, oh, hmm, why why do we have an F1 car running around those group, group B cars? Oops. <laughs> Okay. All right, so here we Good go luck. with Quali. Good luck, everybody. And let's hope that we get a nice second race in here like we did the first one. So, should we go on board with one driver? And just to get back to, we can do, definitely do that. Just to get back to scary um, in terms of the winery, I mean, I do live in wine country, so there would be the possibility <laughs> to open one up. <laughs> uh, we have spectacular white wines in our region. Sounds like a lovely place to live. Oh, it is. Other people could make have holidays here where I live. So. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't want to brag, but it is nice. Yeah. yeah. Also, the some of the slogans around here: "You you live where other people go." Exactly. To do a holiday. A, yeah. I think it's a it's a typical German <laughs> yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> So, let's... Okay, who should we do. go on board with? Well, I think King Ears is on the front. Let's take a look at it from his perspective. Yep. Yeah, Dave, why not? <laughs> Community League drink. And <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Uh, sounds, like a, sounds like a decent plan. This is like the, the second subdivision apart from karaoke driving or what was the other thing we were had yeah, wanting oh, to have a look at it something like that i have a the, distinct memory no, of things we were thinking the, about doing the, <laughs> yeah, the singing sim race or something like that i don't know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get back to the lap with king years so <laughs> heading out of t1 and now going into yeah, a little, little bit of correcting part. the car here. So, yeah, we see some counter steering, definitely. Yeah. Looks a little bit loose here, definitely. But overall, it seems like good fun driving this car. Yeah. So, okay. to the end of the first sector, 35.3. Three. And good exit of the chapel. Yep. Uh, definitely going faster than the Group 4 car here, the upper section. Oh, close to that apex, to that wall. Hard braking point with these cars can be tricky on the exit. Rear tends to get loose. Yeah, uh, this part, okay. Oh, two downshifts there, interesting. Yeah, just trying to um, counter that that understeer into the corner. Then early upshift to third mm. to get the power uh, down, and then let's oh. see if this is also flat out. Overall, good lap. No, a little lift, a little lift actually through this corner, not having that downforce. Okay, yeah. that was some good insights. One, but 30, mm. uh, 42, yeah, was about the pace we saw during the warm up. Well, so Clarky close behind, Rumi P3. So the Ishmael, Ishmael now, just edging him out, Vines, just, Vines just edging out Ishmael, so very close in the midfield. Wabbit P6, Cow Tracer P7, here comes Bad Dog jumping into P6, 
just ahead of Wabbit. And let's see what Monty can do. Where he will sort himself in. P8 for Monty. And Shadow Step will be the last one to uh, cross a little bit of finish. damage. Uh, so difficult racing for Shadow today, but I think it's a bit good learning experience for him to to be part of a lobby with such great drivers. And uh, hopefully he will not be discouraged and keep at it. That's what we're aiming for, to get everybody involved. And everybody should have fun and have place in CTC and take part. So good to see that Team KCR also is giving Shadow the chance to, to show himself and learn. Exactly, and Clark, you know, Purple Sector 2. 0.2 seconds ahead of time, so we could see a 41 here. Yeah. Looking, looking at the gap between the two, does uh, Slipstream come into play? No, I don't think so. I think he's just outside of Slipstream. Will King so improve here as well? No. No, but Clarky. Clarky yeah, 41.8. Look at that. Sub 42. Let's see what Bruin can do. Also yeah. improving. Getting P3 back for uh, Team see the KCR. Same drivers grabbing top three positions. Mm -hmm. So it's in race number one. Yeah, looks, looks like it. Looks like it, yeah. Uh, Wabbit P5, Ishmael P6. That dog improved a little bit. P7. Coach Racer did improve. Monty is still on the run. Let's see if he can improve. Nope. nope. And Shadow Step will close us out. So congrats to the Clarky for that very quick pole position time of a sub 42 very good, well done and those will of course be five extra points for team race asylum in the overall standings very well so and a short break. Yep. And the quality we start for you. in a couple of minutes. So, Clarky taking pole position and another five points for Race Asylum. The fantastic lap here, 41.8. Yeah, and as you said, it's always a bit easier to follow someone if you have a line, especially someone like like King Years who absolutely knows his way around almost every track. It seems in each in every car, it's always good to have that that ghost, so to speak, ahead of you, pushing you on. So that also might have come into effect. But of course, we don't want to downplay yeah. the lap too much. There is a lot of skill involved in there as well. So well done, yeah. Clarky. And for the race, Clarky will have a tough challenge, not able to use the soft tires for this one. So mediums and hearts for him. King ears, he can use the softs for one stint. Same goes for Bulldog, I think. Vine's racing also didn't change tires, so he has to use mediums and hearts. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Oh, uh, interesting there are a couple, uh, so uh, Bad Dog and, 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 and Vines both need to do the harder compounds. Um, so does Clarky. Yeah. So that pole position will definitely come, in, come into play in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> Yeah, and, and which tires will they start the race? Yeah, well, so. exactly. So it's all going to be very interesting going forward. So we're just about to start race number two. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this plays out. I uh, can't get any guesses in there who's starting on... No, compound. but we'll see. I would, I would go with the slower oh. compound and then finish on the, on the, on the faster one. But I'm not sure if everyone else has the same thoughts. And if 
especially if you're starting at the top. But then again, Clarky at the top spot, not having the soft tires available. Oh, this is <laughs> so we're a couple seconds out. Let's go. Let's take a look at what we have in store for us now. Yeah. So I can already tell you, Clarky's on the mediums. On the mediums, Kingish on softs, Bulldog on the softs. Okay, Vines on the hards, Webbit mediums. Ishmael softs, Bedrock mediums, Car Tracer softs, Monty softs, Shadow on the softs. Okay, so I think Kingers will have the better launch. Oh, Bulldog with a good start this time. Having the inside Clark line. Is staying ahead for now, so. Yeah, he, he will try, of course, to keep that position. Into T1, oh, no, Race Asylum versus Race Asylum in the background. Three cars. Everybody uh, survived. Uh, survived, and Clark Again, stays very ahead. Clean. Kingers still ahead of. Bulldog here, and now do we see position switch already? I think so. King Gears. Looks yep. like it. Oh, there was a bit oh, of contact at the side of the background. On the background. Is that Shadow? Oh, oh we have side by side him. racing here. Clarky. Oh, three wide probably into Chapel. Oh, oh. Bulldog with a late braking. Will compromise oh. probably the run on to. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, look at that it's action. Here, but, uh, yeah, but uh, uh, a purple car chased by three races oh, on the He will have to keep his head down. Yep. And, and Clarky, Clarky on the attacking inside, now. inside. And Ishmael also on the, on the inside. diving. And look at that. Oh, very close racing. Ishmael ma ma making it yeah, through as well. He's Had that double slipstream. It is now. Oh, oh they go going side by side for the chicane. Oh no, please don't hit any oh, barrier they here. They survived. Amazing. They survived. Yeah, yeah. I Looking think, yeah. good. I think. Wow. Bulldog didn't <laughs> go for it there. <laughs> oh, and the race asylum guys, they, they had contact. Not sure if they had a, a hit from behind, but it was Webbit and Bad Dog. They ran a little bit deep there wide. The chicanes. So with all that said, uh, King Gears now has the lead, 1.8 seconds, and and Clarky and Ishmael, they try to stay ahead of Bulldog here. Ooh, uh, someone and Monty. Monty, Monty and the, Couch Racer both. Hit the Did they take each other out? I didn't see it. No, I think they were just a little bit too late on the brakes. Oh, there's uh, now. Again, side by side into the chicane. Bulldog is past Clarky here. Or oh, the tire advantage is <laughs> definitely a thing here, but yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> I think, yeah, fun, fun to drive. Uh, contact a here, everywhere, a lot of action, a lot of ac action wow. yeah. I mean, this this all helps King Ears now, yes. Yeah, three, just three running away. Yeah. Ishmael defensive. Bulldog looking around the outside. Oh, nearly touched the barrier on the outside with that less arrow. But uh, nice yeah, competitive I racing. I don't know, fun or frustration. I, I can probably sense <laughs> the blood boiling there. <laughs> uh, I mean, th these these cars do bring out uh, some some very, I think, aggressive type of driving. Yeah, it could be, yeah. Uh, and, uh, of course... Definitely, it looks all a bit more more sketchy and, and yeah. hectic or whatever you could call it. But it's probably due to the nature of the car being that loose and not not, not, not having that error compared to the usual mm -hmm. truthfully. Yeah. Also, I think uh, it's uh, when, when, when looking at what these drivers typically use uh, for, for series and racing, we yeah. typically have the, the Group 2, Group 3, Group 4 cars. Exactly. Very seldomly the random the the rally cars. So they yeah. of course they've put in some practice but they don't have that m big of experience as they would with other cars. Mm -hmm. I mean it looks it looks good from the spectate mode here. It's Absolutely. Hearing, and I think they try to stay as clean as possible here. And this, yes. And we yeah, as we mentioned earlier, we, we don't know what the trial was actually experienced with lag in the lobbies nowadays, so could be that it's hard to judge. It's not too bad from the spectacle mode, to be fair. No, from point of view, from action point of view, it's actually quite nice to see it. Yeah. To have change so, of paint. Yeah, Clarky did his corners. job, I think. 
now he also vines racing and webbit oh vines racing is on the horse webbit on the mediums bad dog on the mediums couch racer is on the soft so he will make some progress here probably so when looking at ishmael and brumi battling it out ish is doing what he really <laughs> can do best he is a master tactician when it comes to <coughs> defensive driving and putting, knowing how to place yep, the car putting his car exactly where you need to have it on the track to make it hard for everyone to get past yep and he's quick and <laughs> as well so he has it all on board, on board with car tracer now oh this looks like a little bit of lag from bad dog here i'm looking at boom car tracer right. with the run he's side by side with bad dog now and also could he have the run on mines racing here will he get two on the straight Don't. double slipstream oh there was a little bit of contact heading into t1 Oh, oh Couch Racer me. has the line. No, oh, he will stay ahead. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, that's good. That's good. Um, hard battle heading in and out of T1. Yeah, with, um, with the soft tires, the advantage. Uh, way more grip. Especially out of this corner, you should have more traction. Vine is racing, defending the inside. Can Couch Racer go around the outside here? On he Chapel? will try to. He so, will try to. Late breaking. Getting alongside. Yep. Yeah, looks like yeah, yes. Fine. The power and yeah. attraction. No, he should, he should, should be, be ahead. Good. He should be ahead now, exactly. Yeah. And Very he, nicely he will, done. He will defend the inside now, I think. No, uh, the cars don't have that much downforce to head directly over to the left-hand side after after the king. But now he's ahead. Yeah. yeah. Let's go back to Ishmael and Bulldog. Yes. Yeah, still, yeah uh, I've, I've been watching them. From my point of view, and I gotta say, they are not—they uh, have the gloves off. They are really battling it out. Um, but everything is fair. Ishmael is doing his part in letting King uh, Ears well, escape at the front, but Rumi will try Bulldog to. Is, is too close to Ishmael here. Bad timing. Let's see. Well, now Ishmael will uh, stick to yeah, the inside. Yeah, definitely. Now there's no way back for Ishmael to use that inside line and. Force Bulldog around the outside again. We saw this multiple times here. You can pull the move. Uh, Ishmael very didn't trust clean the getting car. out of that corner. Yeah, and uh, trust in the car, I think, also plays a big part in it. You're yeah. absolutely right. All right. Next attack will come. It will, yeah. Look at that. It's really, really close between the both of them here. And again, and you have, I think you, you have. Uh, the, the perfect timing for this attack now I think oh, again yeah. Bulldog is too close at the apex yeah you're absolutely right maybe uh, give no. himself a little bit more space Ishmael trying to stay to the left hand side as much as he can for this one and yeah um, Bulldog hit the barrier he clipped that slight no, contact no, no damage but well, a little bit of damage Oh yeah, I was with Ishmael Hoops. <laughs> but of course and it will repair of, uh, itself. So just have a look at the race duration, eight minutes and twenty seconds. Uh, so one, one, one more, more lap. lap. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And the pit window will open. So damage repaired now and oh those those tires they they were a bit more than it yeah. was one with the Megans. Also, look at look at King Ears tires. Um, he yeah. has the same tire wear as as Brum Bulldog. Yeah. Ishmael, that's a good job here compared to to Bulldog. Yeah. Uh, even though he's defending like hell. Yeah. I mean, so. And Clarky might do a, the the long run here on the mediums. Keep in mind, he ha has to use the hard tires, so probably nearly up to the 20 minutes on the mediums here. And tire wear doesn't look too bad, so I think he can easily yeah. do that. 
but I also the fuel probably point. probably fuel will be the issue to get yeah, to looking the at the fuel i yeah. think uh, maybe two more laps yeah and then 13 to... minutes 40 minutes maybe uh the, the take a fuel here uh so yeah. I think it's going to be two more laps maximum for, for everyone yep. in terms of fuel usage. So also very interesting to see how that plays out. Ishmael's fuel just turned to red, as well as Room Bulldogs. Yeah. So maybe one more lap. More fuel, yeah. Could see Clarky do one more lap here. But this is so quite quite early for the for the for the fuel indicator. Yeah. Yeah. The window hello. is open, exactly. so we'll see what happens. We'll see. Uh, fuel should be good for another lap here, definitely. Tires also, mm -hmm. so I would be surprised if he is will head into the pits. No, no he he's going to do one out. more lap. Ishmael and Brum Bulldog. Let's see what they're doing. Ish they're also well. going to stay yeah. out. Bulldog as well. Clarky should stay here as well. Definitely. Yep. Now comes Wabbit on the mediums. Also he will also do one more lap. Cow Tracer, also his on. tires look horrible. Someone is heading into the Bad dog on the mediums. Bad dog hitting. on the mediums. All right. Vines. So he needs to do the hards, and Vines needs to do the mediums. So they. And Shadow, all oh, his tires are gone now. So you think he will pit, probably? All right. Yeah, looking at the fuel in the tires, he probably will need to pit. And let's see what he still needs to do. So he needs to do the mediums. Oh, he's going to do one more lap. All right. Yeah. Um, Ishmael Which, of Bulldog. course, could make sense, being a roadblock for Bad Dog and, could and be, yeah. Lines a little bit. So, so what, what do the Ishmael and Bulldog have to use? They're both on the softs. So um, Ishmael is basically um, he's he needs to do the mediums. Mediums. Uh, and uh, Brumi needs to do the hards. The hards. Okay, so uh, an advantage for Ishmael he here. Yeah, it seems that way. And so K Kingers will probably be coming into the pits now. Kingers will use the mediums here as well. So this looks like a yes. comfortable drive. For him not feeling mm -hmm. the pressure and yeah, heading so into the here pits. Here comes Ishmael, Ishmael of course, same. also yeah, basically field. everybody oh, and oh, uh, now barely. Oh, yeah, just had, think he no can't field. do another lap. <laughs> Clarky as well. He did a yeah. great job on the mediums, staying that close to Bulldog, yes. and now both have to use the hard. Rabbit also in the pits. Cow tracer in the Rabbit, pits. Cow tracer, yeah. Monty will also be. Monty, going oh, into he the ran. Pits, so it seems. Uh, oh no, no Monty's going to do, do one more lap. lap. So he has enough fuel. So it seems. Uh, Interesting. And yeah, the front tire, the right one, oh, could be, could be difficult. Could be interesting over the course of the lap, but yeah. of course. So let's see. So King is as expected on the mediums. Next one. Ishmael Bulldog on the mediums. On the on the Bulldog set. on the hearts. Yes. Clarky on the hearts as well, yeah. Alright, looking good. And Clarky gained nearly two seconds in the pits. I think uh, he'd probably uh, fuel. Fuel, yeah. He didn't put in that much fuel compared to Bulldog. Wabbit on the softs. So let's see. That is Absolutely okay. He has already done all of his required compounds. Oh, and cow tracer on the hards. Oh, bulldog having troubles here, struggling on the hard tires. Clarky, he, he took advantage in chapel. Yeah. And yeah, I think getting those fast. hards up to temperature will be a challenge. So the last one who has not yet entered the pits is Monty. Let's see if he can make it into yeah. the pits with that fuel. This, this time Clarky went a little deep into the braking zone. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit of wind direction. You have a tailwind coming into that corner. And Monty and needs to do the mediums. Really pushing 
And he will make it into the pits. Until, yep, yeah, he is into the pits. So the gap, King Yus, a good stint. nearly six seconds ahead of Ishmael, both on the mediums now. Clarky on the hearts, one second ahead of Bulldog, both on the hard tires. And Clarky putting in some uh, uh, great opening lap, out lap, out of the pits, put it that way. Yeah, 2.2 seconds quicker than Brom Bulldog. And of course with that pit gain, Thanks to his refueling tactics, yep. he nearly gained four and a half seconds in one lap. That is amazing. Well done. Yeah. And we will still have to see if you last till the end. Or if there will be some some yeah, short it's going to be interesting. involved. So Ishmael definitely has the most fuel. And look, the difference between Ishmael and Clarky is so interesting. Uh, it looks like. Seven eight percent difference compared to Bulldog, the same as Ishmael here. So hmm, maybe they want to be a bit more aggressive, and or yeah. Clarky has figured out a way to drive this car in an efficient way, be fast yeah. and save fuel. Oh, um, well, like it would be nice to know the percentages and how they stack up yeah. Yeah. compared to, uh, to 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 one lap, how much usage you have. But we can only speculate at this we, point in time. We can, yeah. Now I know how hard it is for real commentators to do their jobs <laughs> when it comes to fuel and tire speculation. <laughs> depending, they, uh, depending on the race series. So if yeah, you're talking true. about Formula One, you have like so much data all around. You should, you should be better informed than the race engineer probably. And, and still they manage to mess it up <laughs> most yeah. of the time. At least the German ones do. I don't know about the British ones. Uh, but yeah. So, let's see how this shapes out. King yeah. Ears, comfortably ahead. Um, looking yeah. at the times, Ishmael will not be attacking. He will be nope. holding his possession position, but the battle for P3 will still be interesting. And, of course, we have Wabbit on the softs, and he's now going to be on the attack when it comes to getting past Brumi. Yeah, so Wabbit, Wabbit is 0.6 behind... Bulldog here and on the soft, so I think Rabbit is the only one using the softs. Yeah. So he, he he can push for that P4 and probably uh, the tire advantage will be just yeah. too much mm -hmm. to ask to for Bulldog to to keep that position. Yeah, I don't see see him holding it as well. It's too difficult. And the track does not give you that much opportunity to, to block on the slower compound with all the long straights. But we'll see how it plays out. Yeah. He is competitive. And of course, there it's are some yeah. egos at play. Yeah. And he's, I think now he... he seems to have found his rhythm a little bit, so the, the gap to Clarky stays about the same. And this is always a nice thing for you, if you know the, the driver in front of you who was fastest in qualifying, you can keep up with him on the same on the same tire compound. This gives you a good feeling and yeah, so tires definitely should be up. Now temperature script should be there. Still, it's the hard tires. There is a clear advantage for the softs, especially out of T1, I would assume. Yeah, but looking at the top end, nope. still holding his own. Wabbit may be playing it a bit safe. Yeah. Not to risk too much. <coughs> it is, yeah. But yeah, this, this section here, I think you can clearly see the advantage of the soft yeah. tire. We're also looking at the time. Um, Brumi did a 44.8 compared to Clarky's 45.4, so mm -hmm. definitely found his rhythm. Oh, this was deep. No, he oh, missed the That was the rally level. moment we were yeah. waiting for. <laughs> uh, it looked it looked spectacular on the camera. They have like the rear stepping out and going a bit of a bit of a, a rally start corner, yeah. And it's. A proof that 
um, going sideways on a racetrack is usually not the fastest thing you should do. Can Bulldog stay with Rabbit here? Clocky touched the grass there a little bit. Uh, we have replaced, but I'm uh, yeah forgot about it that I have to press the button. Oh, we replay. actually have them now. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. they are in place. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> but Where? I Where? What do I need to do? You don't. Uh, I have to use my keyboard shortcuts to uh, to save the replay and then play it. But I, I could I could use that as well. I mean, I'm in spectate mode. So. Yeah, yeah. So if you if you have the keyboard attached, you have. Oh, I do X. need a keyboard attached. Yeah, yeah. You need you need to have All the right. keyboard attached. Okay. So, so I will so. I will I will just see if I can find something spectacular on <laughs> on the track to to do like the, re the replay thing. Well, that's a good option to have, actually. That's, yeah. Um... Come on, come on, give me something. <laughs> do something. <laughs> do something. <laughs> So at the at the time, <laughs> King Ear is, uh, is slowly but surely pulling away from Ishmael. Yeah, and Rabbit is more. catching Clarky. Yeah, and at the same time, bringing Bully along for the ride. So maybe we'll still see some action between Clarky and Broom Bulldog. Couch Racer in P6, consistent race for him. Behind him are Vines and Bad Dog, and Monty is slowly but surely <laughs> also catching up to Bad Dog. So, so maybe some okay. action coming in there as well. You pay who should be cursed. I'm, I'm all up for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, give me, King Ears is about to, to lap Shadow. <laughs> no. Just for some information. Is he? Yeah. yeah, three, two, three seconds maybe behind. But assuming Shadow will see him and play it fair like he did in race one. And just looking at that tire difference, I mean, that is absolutely amazing. King Years is doing low so. 43s on the mediums compared to Ish's mid 44s so he's really feeling the car really oh look at that I, ha I have a replay I have a replay look at that <laughs> there you go look at that I know how uh, to do it now alright this is next level <laughs> this is next level <laughs> <laughs> no this will this will help us a uh, lot where, going how do forward. I how can I come out of the replay now? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. You, I thought you, I thought on spot it was automatically that I did would leave <laughs> the replay and go back to the broadcast though. So. Ah. See you, White Tiger. So, so this will come in handy later on for for the second race of today. Yeah, you just have to remind me that we have a replay function. I will. That's. I'm going to tell you every 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 minute. Replay, replay, replay. <laughs> so going back into the action, Wabbit actually has now yes. gotten past Clarky. Yep. And let's and Broomy Bulldog um, is 1.5 seconds behind Clarky, so he oh, no. might be able to attack. We have the. Fuel bug on the screen as well. Every time they come around, the spectate mode says, "Please refuel." <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you get for activating yeah, yeah, the replay. Yeah, probably, <laughs> yes. I shouldn't have touched those keys. No. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah, so oh. nice. This is brilliant. Yep. The learning on the job. Exactly. Yeah. This is this is how we do it. So, oh, interesting scenario. Shadow just lost it, and the the, the front runners are coming by. But yeah. he has great awareness on track. Well done, Shadow. I said, what you're lacking in pace today, you're definitely making up oh, in your track you... awareness. So, oh, but no, which, and then... so that was the commentator's curse, on my end, I guess. Yes. 
We'll see if, oh, if, we, if, we can, if, if we can catch that. Yeah. So, so he, he lost it. Then stay to the right, yeah. Yeah, I good tried thing. to... Uh, everything good up to that point. But then Brumi was, was closing in fast. And unfortunately for him... Shadow was not able to get out of the way in the nick of time. He, I think he tried his most to do yeah. so. So that is unfortunate. Robs us a bit of a fight between Clarky and Brumi. But that is the nature of the game. Well, approaching the final five minutes of this race and the entire match day. So King Yers leading by 10 seconds ahead of Ishmael. Six seconds ahead of Webbit here, and Clarky still stays with Webbit here. Mm -hmm. Clarky on the hearts, Webbit on the socks. Yeah. I don't think there will be any hard feelings between the KCR drivers. It's all part of learning and to adjust. And as already stated, it's always good to have all levels of racing taking part in a series yeah. like this to get everybody involved. And uh, everybody will learn from this in the end. Oh, here we go. P7, P8. Okay, there was a lapped car in between. With yeah, Shadow. that was Shadow. Monty just goes to show P9. that if you are just starting out or getting to know the tracks and the cars, it's not that easy. As the front runners might make make it look. Yeah, exactly, Sonic. We should basically this might be something for a highlight reel replay. This race. <laughs> Giving us some good action. Yeah, just cycling a little through the field now. Gaps yeah, despite Rabbit and Clarky. And oh, look at the sun coming down now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love. Mm, that's Italy for you, Sardinia. <laughs> <laughs> and despite all the, the 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 thinking about how laggy the the lobbies are currently, I think we've had a really good run today. Looking at how it played out. Could have been way worse. Had a couple of problems in the last couple of weeks since ever since the update. But it did That's look quite stable true. today. Yeah, and fingers crossed we will have the same experience for the second match day later yeah. on. Uh, we can we can tease that. So we can we have Team ART going up against Team GTFU in group one later on this evening. Which will also be very interesting to see because the winner probably will already have made have made its way, his way through to the semifinals depending on the outcome and uh, just to give you a brief overview we will also we will not be in Sardinia we will be in Brazil at Interlagos and we will be in in America racing Trial Mountain uh, the cars will be announced later on, but of course you can see that on our Discord as well. So, looking at the at the time, King Ears... Final two minutes, yep. Uh, King Ears will probably now enter his last lap, looking at the remaining time and the lap times he's putting in. So, King Ears with a great race, fastest lap, let basically throughout the entire race. Yep. Yeah. Cl 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 Clarky was on pole position, but then they switched positions in T3 or T4, I think, yeah. on lap one. And since then, King Gears had an, an easy Saturday afternoon drive here. Yeah, de definitely without too much action. Yep. So Clarky and Wabbit. Now close together, so will Clarky still try to get that podium or leave it to his race asylum teammate? Yep, he's out for a cruise here as well. And yeah, uh, we'll see. I mean, it's less than one minute. 
Rabbit's front right tire should survive this. Yeah, I would, I would exactly. So. Yeah, this track looks amazing in this light. Yeah, the light settings are really, really spot on on Gran Turismo. No doubt about it. The visuals look stunning here, and with the time progression, really, really nice. Just have to check. Okay, King, you're expecting some rain putting on the windshield wipers? <laughs> <laughs> well, just celebrating, you know, flashing. <laughs> Give us everything you have. Don't run wide on the final. Oh, no, and he's using the horn as well. What? Uh, well all, done, King all years, all the Congratulations. King well done, King years, King P2. Well done Stein. on your part. Rabbit, Rabbit and Clarky. Uh, Rabbit stays ahead of Clarky here. P3. Yes. And P4. So we have Bulldog now. Coming in in P5. Final time. First yeah, I'm a bit Casey unlucky. He drivers. probably could have fought for the podium if he didn't have that incident with his teammate. But still, well done. Cow Tracer, Tracer I think, is happy P6. with the P6. Bit more consistent than Stayed the first of race. Dog and Vines racing in a photo finish. Versus yeah. Salem Monty crossing the line. No, and, and we have Shadow Step. Step. So, and according to to regulations that we set up, um, Bad Dog and Vines racing will be regulated to the back. So they will be receiving two respective one point each. Um, but in the overall grand scheme of things, that should not make that bit, bit of a, much of a difference. So, final turn for Shadow Step now. And he will see the checkered flag. And this will conclude race number two. Yes, indeed. So... Quickly save the replay, and here are your race results once again. King Years, race winner, and also has the fastest lap of the race. Then Ishmael P2, Webbit P3, and Clarky P4, top four, race silent. Then we have the two KCR drivers, Trombo Lock and Couch Racer. We have Bad Dog and Vines, but again, they will be relegated. And Monty and Shadow Step for KCR. So, yeah. so I'll racing. ask Monty and Ray to join chat if they want to do some post race interview and give some insights into the racing as a whole. Oh, he's already quit, so hopefully, he still got the message. I'll try to invite them, Jaeger. So we can ask them yep. the tough questions after the race. The really tough ones. Yeah. The really tough ones. So, Ray, I take it you're still in Jaeger's Twitch chat. Um, I'm going to invite King Ears, uh, and you can take over on your end if you are interested in doing that. So I'll just add in King Ears. Of course, I'd be also happy to talk to Ryan. There we are. Yeah, someone joined. Yeah. That would be me. It's hey, Ray. Ray Congrats to manager. you guys. I'm done it. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, we done Ryan. it. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Amazing race from you guys. Superb it was stuff. Really good from everybody. Really good. I can stop sweating now. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> You're always so nervous. Yeah. I'm always nervous for them. I know how much effort everyone yeah. goes into the practice, and I know how much certain drivers dislike certain cars, but they yeah. plod on and they struggle through and they just do their best. So it does make me nervous because it's so disappointing if they have uh they make a mistake and they go off track or they have an incident and they're like oh god i didn't you know i didn't mean for that to happen and 
Yeah. And um, you hear how despondent they can be about it, that it's then upsetting for me to know that I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Except say they're there and pat them on the back. <laughs> no, well, well, well done. But just, just to, just to um, get get some information out of you, was that uh, by intent, and, all intent and purpose to not change tires in the first race? So was that, yes. or was that an accident? No, that was no, part that of that was intentional. Yeah. Um, well very interesting. Very interesting. We discussed. We we tried different strategies. The, that was the quickest strategy overall, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but then obviously you're at a disadvantage for the second race with only having the medium exactly. cards. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the second quickest strategy was soft to hard to then leave you the soft and the mediums for the focus, but it was then decided that our two stronger drivers, along with Ishmael, who would sort mm -hmm. of slot in the middle, they would opposite strategy. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. had somebody dominant in one race and somebody dominant in the next to spread the potential for a good result. Uh, gotcha. And that's the beauty of team versus team that you have when you have multiple drivers, you can split strategies and go for the best overall result then. Uh, yeah, you then can cover all your bases yeah. as best you can. No, very well done, and, and it's very good to see that basically all aspects that uh, we considered when setting up the <laughs> rules uh, have, are being considered. Uh, yeah, and it definitely races. works. Uh, yeah, perfect. That's exactly what, what was the what was the intent. Uh, so I think uh, uh, there will be a lot of copycats now looking at that <laughs> and and uh, saying, okay, I, 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 I could make that work. Well, maybe even come yeah. to come to effect later on because we have the. Uh, combo with the Renault Megane um, for the second race, I think. Or is mm. it no, sorry, wrong. Oh, I was looking at the wrong match day when I announced <laughs> the. We are having an Italian day today because it's yeah. going to be both Sardinia. It's the Sardinia fest. It's the Sardinia yeah, Sardinia fest exactly. Yeah. So, but it's going to be the quicker cars this evening. So the Ooh. ART and GTFU boys have decided to go with the Red Bull. Okay, oh, that's a fun Junior car. And the Group 2 Lexus. So See, the Red Bull was another one that you didn't, if you were careful, you didn't have to fuel or change yep, your tires. Not at all, yep. So that will be interesting strategy-wise yep. to see what people do there. And this is Definitely exactly what, what gives the other teams now. Um, the, I, I was I am totally honest, I, I wasn't aware of, of of this possibility when we were doing CLR practice for the races, so just let You're me re just let me re rethink now the strategy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> Race asylum. Everybody's <laughs> test dummy. It is uh, so nice to see. So yeah, the, the the crew B Ford Focus car looked quite fun to drive on the spectator mode that drivers seem oh. to have fun and <laughs> enjoy it at, to at least to a certain amount and say if you had bad dog in here he okay <laughs> he um, he's not a fan not a fan um, surprisingly king is is a fan yeah um, he had quite the pace advantage yep. over over ishmael on the same compound Mm. Uh, so that he was about a second quicker, um, and so he must really love the car. He's um bizarre creature. Gets on with weird cars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome stuff. So, with that point, Hall, it's, well, things are looking good for the semifinals. Can yeah. I say, Ray? Uh, you guys Should. might even be able to to take it a bit slower, depending on the outcome of the other group match with MRL and TCR, but uh, definitely looking good, yeah. looking strong. Yes. Very strong. Qu quietly satisfied with progress so far, I suppose. <laughs> I wouldn't say confident, but that's not because I'm not confident in the drivers, but just because the other teams are really competitive, so yeah. you can't say anything really because everyone is yep. 
equally and, competitive and in anything you can never happen. know yeah who who shows up for race day who has time and yeah. stuff like that and you yeah then again the different car tracks combinations it is like yeah exactly does it does the it suit your drivers it uh, yep exciting very, very exciting indeed yes indeed all right so yeah. i think we'll leave you to it then for today yeah. Yeah. thank thank you again also for your understanding in terms of how we fared with the points no um, i just think it's no. the fairest way it's yeah. unfortunate and it is unfortunately real life happens to everybody but yeah. we you know we were fortunate to find a free agent in time yeah. they they weren't so we might as well just score for who they had available and then just put our other extra two at the back it makes sense yeah no we absolutely can all compromise there. absolutely okay and thank you again for for, for your understanding and complying to that that is that's what, what what this community is about we take care of one another i think um, i think i need to send monty a case of beer <laughs> and buy myself one and then we can both <laughs> <laughs> Have yeah, a well earned cold one after that <laughs> organizational drama. <laughs> yeah, yep. let's say cheers. Yeah, and then <laughs> De definitely. So, it, yeah. was an it was a roller coaster of emotion. <laughs> it was. Yeah, I know. I think it was running smooth up to yeah. about 5 or 6 p.m. yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> and then all and of a sudden, all was on broke fire. loose. <laughs> yeah. The final hour before the race. Oh, yeah. A bit, a bit hectic, but no, we had, but some, we, we had some, we some good racing. Yeah, we had a. We, we did a have good there. racing. It was, it, was, it was nice to race them, and, you know, they did fantastic. So, well done, KCR. A uh, second that's okay. I'm gonna end the stream now. Right, we'll, we'll be back later at yes, seven PM BST. Yeah, watch out for that. All right, Ray, take care. Say hi to Ryan and yes, uh, the I boys. Will. And, take uh, care, guys. Talk. And um, all right. I'll later. catch you all later. Yeah. All right, yep. take care. Yep. Bye. Bye. Bye.